town. D.O.'s ain't up. Can't do nothing for it. Hey yo, what's good YouTube world? It's your boy Cardi Luciano. And um I dropped my hands-on experience breakdown part one yesterday. Got a great response from all the 2K fans, man. And shout out to everybody who commented, man, asked questions and show love in the comments. Of course I seen the trolls, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't fall for all of that. But to all you guys, man, that's hungry about the information, you know what I'm saying, and want to find out about my career and all this other, look i have no idea about any of this stuff <laughs> i'm in the dark just like y'all man y'all have to understand man like for the guys who were leaving comments you know saying you know 2k paying these guys and telling them to say this and say that ld and ronnie did not tell me to do anything they didn't tell me to tweet hype their game up they ain't tell me all of that <laughs> i took it upon myself because i love the improvement of 2k you feel me like i love everything they had deal with the game and i tweeted about it and ld seen my tweet and retweeted it and he followed me you know saying he showed love so i'm not working for 2k i was just there as a fan to play at the expo <laughs> but um i just thought i had to clear that up man you know because stupid shit people coming at my neck for no reason it's retarded <laughs> but um I wanted to talk about layups and dunks because a lot of people really been asking me about you know the animations and the layups and the dunks and how that stuff worked because I never got into it in my part one so I'm about to get into it in my part two and layups this year in 2k are way more fluid and what I mean by that is if all right we all know 2k 15 2k 14 if you did a layup you can hit the analog and switch hands with the acrobat and all of that stuff but it is still feel like an animation you know what i'm saying it still feel like you get stuck in animation you know what i'm saying it, it, it just didn't feel right 2k took that and improved it you know they improved upon that and now when you do a layup and you acrobat it it's more smooth you know what i'm saying it's, it's it's way smoother and stephen curry like i said in part one his layups his floaters his floaters are amazing because for one 2k also redid how high the ball can go in the air when you shoot a layup or something or like a floater the floaters literally go up to the goddamn shot clock <laughs> like they go up really really high and I did a few layups with Curry. I didn't get a chance to do all his layups because obviously I couldn't get in the damn paint that good because of the defense. But I got a chance. I got free on a couple screens and all that and a couple crossovers and got some layups again. And the one layup that sticks out the most to me is the one he hit in the NBA Finals on the Cavs when he just throws it up. Like he be in front of the hoop and he just throw it up like, like a lob that layup animation is so dope in 2k16 because it's just like the real deal you know what i'm saying like the ball there is a strong possibility that when you throw that when you throw up that layup it's gonna hit the rim but there's a chance that shit could miss you're not gonna make that just because that's his special layup there's a just a chance you're gonna miss that layup a lot of the time you know what i'm saying like well i won't say a lot of the time but it's like a 50 50 you know what I'm saying? it's like 50 50 like you make it you know what i'm saying like if you more freely you ain't got nobody bump you or disrupting the shot and if you got someone around you that that can test the layup it you know he might miss it then again he might make it you know what i'm saying it depends but if you shove him if you shove him really good he's gonna miss you know what i'm saying he's, he's gonna he's gonna miss that but um the layups man i the layups is pretty good like i did a, a few layups with lebron also but lebron is nowhere near <laughs> the best layup man like the best layup guy you know what i'm saying he's not like no stephen curry and hell even kyrie irvin kyrie irvin do that fast little stutter step like him and stephen curry they both do the fast stutter step when they you know do the layups and 
I want to talk about the animation real fast. When you do your gather steps to do a layup, it feels really good. You know what I'm saying? It feels pretty good. And Stephen Curry's gather steps for a layup, he don't slide. You know what I'm saying? It's like the foot, the foot planting te technology they put in this game is, is is made strictly for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? When he gathers, he actually gathers and he go for it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, no, he gather and then he slides in the middle of the gather. It's not like that. When he actually gathers, he stutter steps really, really fast and then he goes in for the layup. You know, Kyrie Irving, he's the same exact way. When you do a layup with him, he stutter steps really fast. And like he just lay it up. Like he use he uses his left hand to block you off or his right hand to block you off while he doing a layup. And then he just toss it up. Like he just throw it up there. Like it's so dope, man. The layups, 2K really did their thing, man, with the layups. And salute to them. Straight up. Now, let's get into the dunks. One of my favorite favorite things about 2k the dunks i love i love dunks man because when you dunk on people in 2k it's nasty even even in 2k 15 even though you get caught in the animation and they force the contact on you when you dunked on somebody in the wreck or the park that shit made you feel really good it was cheese but it made you feel good <laughs> but this year in 2k man the dunks they're not all right let me put it like this somebody in the comments i, I forgot his name but it's one of the top comments, I think, because it's, it's like the longer, I think it's one of the longer conversations in the, lit, in the uh, comments. And he asked me about the dunks, you know what I'm saying? Do you get caught in an animation and all that stuff like 2K15? And I basically told him, I'm like, yo, you have to ask yourself, can you stop LeBron and Andre Iguodala from dunking on you in real life so easy? Like, can you just... Uh, like just block they shit so easy because they dunk they're powerful dunkers you know what i'm saying like they they dunk with power like it's isn't it's not that many guys in the league who can dunk the ball like lebron and all of them to the point the net pops all the way the fuck up out the rim <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they just pop all the way out you know what i'm saying and um you know i asked him like can you stop them like you know what I'm saying can, like can you really stop them think about that and it's like 2k they took that type of stuff and put it in 2k like if lebron <clears throat> if if lebron is driving to you right if he's driving to the hole he's got an open lane he has so much room to take off and dunk on your ass it's not like in 2k 15 where the lane would kind of be packed and you could just still run in and dunk on anyone no you can't do that anymore if LeBron has an open lane, he's going to take it and and it really don't it well, it really don't matter how much space he got because it's an open lane. But since he has so much space in that open lane, he's going to take the hell off him and Andre Iguodala. So, once they take off, they have like I said, the gather steps. LeBron actually gathers like the real LeBron in real life. You know what I'm saying? How LeBron take them giant steps, sometimes he may travel with his traveling ass <laughs> but you know lebron he takes some giant he takes some giant you know what i'm saying gathers sometimes i'm not saying all the time but sometimes and when he gathers man he go up in the air it's, it's game over <laughs> he gonna yam on your ass for real and when he goes up for the dunk when he's coming towards you it's not forced at all the animation it just feels free like it, it really feels free like for example if he goes up dunk on you uh you know what i'm saying but if it's somebody close that can help contest that dunk that's gonna bother him you know what i'm saying and he might miss that dunk like he his wrist is gonna smack the rim and he's gonna lose control of the ball if someone else interrupts him in midair or going up for that dunk you know what i'm saying 2k16 is more like that you know what I'm saying? In 2K15, you're not interrupting anyone going up for a dunk at all. <laughs> like, once they in animation, it's over with. <laughs> Especially if they got posterizer and all of that shit. Like, it's over with. You might miss the dunk. Like, <laughs> one out of fucking 20 tries. <laughs> but it's just, you just get stuck. 
you know what i'm saying but 2k16 you don't get stuck the contact it is not forced upon you okay it's not it's really fluid you know it feels pretty good and when you dunk with other guys like russell westbrook and derrick rose and all of them when the game come out you guys are gonna see man when you get a chance to dunk with all these freakish athletes like it's it's pretty dope man for real i'm really looking forward to playing with other guys in 2k because i want to see how you know the real derrick rose play and how westbrook plays in the game like his real self um you know dunks and layups you know that like that pretty much cements everything that i know and now it's time to hop into animation and awareness and stuff like that and one of the hot one of the comments on my video that stuck out to me was the homie body bag he left two comments and one of his comments was you know his biggest question is what is the awareness like you know saying for layups and loose balls and fast breaks and all of that the fast breaks man the fast when people get out on a fast break like when we when i was playing with the warriors and we got out on a fast break all right they didn't just run down the court like chickens with their heads cut off they actually ran down the courts and tried to get to spots to actually get open shots like if you're stephen curry and you're running down the court right Ste like clay thompson he's gonna be looking the crazy thing is he looks back at you sometimes like if you're running he's gonna look back to see what you're doing like okay is he about to drive or is he about to pass and set one of his teammates up like characters actually turn and look at each other now like it, it's 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 so realistic it's crazy but um, when i was on a fast break with curry and clay was trying to get open you know so he's trying to get to a spot like in a corner or something bogut will get in the paint get ready to rebound you know what i'm saying harrison barnes he'd be squared up somewhere in the corner and draymond green will be getting ready to like be at the top of the free throw line at the top of the key or something getting ready to set picks but the way they communicate with each other is pretty dope because they all they they all actually look at each other to see what they're about to do you know what i'm saying so like the awareness as far as that is pretty dope now i had jr smith when i was playing with the Cavs, and i was at the top of the key and when he passed the ball it wasn't like no it wasn't like no weird pass like he just passed it like the when he actually passed the ball to lebron he he eye contact with lebron dead on like the ball is going to you here you go like he actually eye locked with him <laughs> and it, i thought that was pretty dope because when you pass in 2k15 they it's like they just snap their head and just huh whatever like just no like in 2k16 they actually eye contact lock with you like so you know that person about to get the ball a no look pass the no, no the no look passes are so clean too man like god i can't wait for you guys to experience this game for real because i know it might seem like i'm hyping this game up way too much but i'm just giving you guys all the facts on improvements you know what i'm saying all the improvements and they they listen you know they listen to us and um i really didn't get a chance to go for loose balls and all of that because i don't know for some reason like i just i don't know they just wouldn't happen to me i'm pretty sure somebody got caught in a loose ball situation and they went through all of those animations um now people i i got a couple questions asked me about the passing too and honestly i didn't do a lot of flashy passes like i did some but i didn't really get into like the flashy passes you know what i'm saying like i was just more worried about actually making good passes you know what i'm saying getting my teammates the ball and where they need to be you know what I'm saying i wasn't like trying to be like magic johnson on the court and you know <laughs> i wasn't trying to do all of that so i can't really elaborate on the passes like that i really just can't get into full detail because i didn't try to do all of that type of stuff like that but um the flashy passes the ones that i did and the ones i've seen they're all like they're, they're more fluid like you know what i'm saying like they're what can i say the improvement is better <laughs> like it's better than the flashy passes from last year and i thought the flashy passes at 2k15 were pretty tight you know what i'm saying like i still like them you know what i'm saying but um i want to touch on online cheesers you know what i'm saying because this is the, this is like the number one topic in my book man when it comes to 2k because we all know it, look you guys have to understand we played the demo offline we were offline when we played the game but when 2k 
officially released and they put the game online, I'm pretty sure some things might change. But this is the great thing though. All right, we all know everybody's gonna try to cheese their my players out with the VC and all that. Me included, cause I'm gonna buy some VC, goddammit. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. I'm gonna buy some VC. But this year, it's not gonna matter if you put 100,000, 200,000 into your mob player. If you not fundamentally sound, like if you don't know the basics of playing ball, man, dribbling, regular passing, like not trying to be flashy, just being fundamentally sound. I'm telling you right now, if you're not fundamentally sound, you're gonna suck in this game. If you if you the type of if you're a flashy player, man, and all you do is try to hit cheesy crossovers and try to pull up and hit shots, that shit is <laughs> not gonna work in your favor. But the great thing with 2K online this year, man, I feel like when the game come out, there is it's gonna be that one move someone is gonna find. It's gonna be something. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna probably abuse that move online in their favor. Like it's gonna it's gonna work to a certain degree online. And the great thing is 2K can actually nerf the shit out of that move and bring it down so you won't be good at it anymore. Like that move won't be good anymore to use. Like they don't have to put out this big ass patch and patch these moves. They can actually just go in their system, nerf that move, drop the field goal percentage on it, all of that shit and you out of that now you got now you got a game plan for something else so the days of abusing cheesy ass moves in 2k is done so you don't have to worry about no one going in the corner and doing a step back you know what i'm saying you know how people hit the little step back in the corner in 2k 15 and shoot a three you can't do that anymore you know what i'm saying you're gonna actually have to play ball man like you're gonna have to play smarter than that <laughs> for real but um 2k they can nerf it you know ld straight up told us that like that's in the article that's that's everywhere you know what i'm saying and um if you guys haven't seen the trailer man about the living world and all that stuff like how the game actually moves and feel like the, the real world honestly it actually plays better than it looked in the trailer <laughs> you know what i'm saying because everything is on the go like you know what i'm saying they're not stopping and pausing no editing is involved everything is on the go you know what i'm saying so it feels really good man overall the game is great and um i want to touch on the instant replay now for everybody who edits 2k mixtapes like me you know what I'm saying? i do a little mixtape here and there but guys like shady and all, all and all of those type of guys on that level of editing man who they're gonna love the instant replay because some all right if you if you guys go watch the the living world trailer a lot of those angles are in the instant replay like that low to the ground angle all that stuff that's in the instant replay now they have a built-in slow motion that you can just click in with the left analog so if you're in the middle of a crossover right if you hit a cold ass crossover with your mob player you break somebody's ankles or something you can actually go back and go instant replay right before you hit that 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 nasty crossover on him break his ankles you can actually click the right analog and in the middle of the in the middle of the crossover he actually slow-mo like he'll slow he he go into a slow motion and then once it's done you could just click the right analog again and then it's right back to normal like it's so sick man like a lot of montages and stuff and a lot of highlight tapes are about to be dope <laughs> i'm telling y'all man this shit is gonna be crazy um fans questions you know what i'm saying i obviously i know i can't answer all of them <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's, it's like a fucking million damn there i've been answering questions on twitter since the day of the gamestop expo <laughs> so like i i've literally answered like over like 200 questions on twitter man from people but um you know people want to ask you know i've seen somebody ask me about Kyrie's jump shot you know they did uh edit Kyrie's jump shot he don't he don't exactly shoot like the Kyrie in 2k15 you know what I'm saying he shoots a little more like himself now you know what I'm saying um when you actually do the pull up with him his feet goes in like his feet draws closer to each other like his feet actually goes in like the real Kyrie Irving pull up jump shot like the way he fades back and all of that 
it actually goes into that and i seen somebody ask me about the shoes um the shoes ld actually went into detail about lebron's shoes like he went to the he he, he took us an instant replay and showed us the bottom sole of lebron's shoes the different fabrics you know what I'm saying the different um stuff you can use on the shoes it's it's pretty dope man do i do i still feel like live shoes are better yes but 2k is making improvements you know what i'm saying like they're they're, they're coming for them straight up like they they're not far behind when it comes to the shoes the small details in the shoes will be editable now like you can edit them you know what i'm saying like the smallest details we couldn't do on jordans and stuff like that last year in 2k15 we're gonna be able to do in this year's 2k so everybody who's been wanting to make the same exact jordan <laughs> that they couldn't make in 2k15 man because they couldn't edit some of the certain little parts of the shoe you have access to that now so you know hey 2k making improvements man like i said but i'm about to get up out of here real 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 soon but you guys let me know in the comments if you want a part three man and you know just this and this time you know i'm pretty much done talking about my experience with the game you know i just want to answer certain questions now you know what I'm saying so part three just might be you know what I'm saying a hands-on questions video of 2k16 from the um from the fans and you know all you guys you know but um like comment rate subscribe man you know i love the support man i i love that y'all comment y'all ask me questions and all that and you know i answer a lot of them on twitter so uh, follow me on twitter too man if you guys want to ask me questions you ain't got to wait on the videos and all that ask me questions on twitter man and i gladly respond to them on twitter man as fast as possible because i've literally been getting so many <laughs> questions <laughs> but you know follow me on twitter man at cardi luciano that will be in the description you know what I'm saying all of that and you know like i said i love the support from you guys man and i hope you guys appreciate what i bring to the 2k community because i told ld straight up <laughs> i, I want to be up there with ipod all of them like i want to be like one of the faces of the community man for 2k you know what I'm saying i want to work my way up i want to work my way up towards that you know what i'm saying and that comes with creativity you know creativity and putting in my work you know what i'm saying putting in work and just putting out some dope content you feel me so you know holla at y'all later man i'm up out of here like comment rate subscribe and let me know if i should do a part three questions version of 2k16 i'm up out of here now squat